Hero Film Corp presents Young Turks 40 Years. Hello and welcome to the special edition of Young Turks. I'm Shireen Bhan and I'm in conversation with a very special guest, a guest who's been tracking the startup story for a little less longer than we have here at Young Turks. We've been doing this for 15 years. He's been doing it for a little over 10 years now. Sanjeev Agarwal, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. It's been a decade-long journey for you at Helion. Let me start by asking you, what do you make of this business of the fact that in 2015 we're now going through a phase of irrational exuberance as far as valuation are concerned and we're headed to a bust. Do you believe that it's going to be a correction or do you believe we're going to see a significant bloody shakedown? I would say more the former than the latter. And the reason I say that, Shireen, is because one, this time around, the fundamentals are very strong. Mm. Consumer adoption is uh, taking off in a very big way. Uh, backed by two things. One, that we have a reasonably scaled up economy, right. $2 trillion. And two, the smartphone penetration is uh, going up every month by about 5 million units. So a lot of India is digitally wired. Mm. And we have consumption power, right. uh, which is moving online. So if you look around the world, we are probably the last large online market uh, left underpenetrated, mm. which is growing at triple digit CAGR uh, growth, rate, growth rates. So I think in financial markets always tend to overshoot mm. in both directions. Did we overshoot in one direction? The answer is yes. Uh, the correction that we are going through I think is very healthy because there is focus now on basics all over again. Are you going to be profitable? Are you going to generate positive cash flows? Mm. I think those kind of questions. Are they finally being asked? Uh, they are finally being asked. CFOs are being hired. And from large companies, the former Infosys CFO now heading to Ola, Ola it's, a, it's a big deal. Yes. So I think the fiscal foundation, which probably young internet companies ignored mm. in last five, six years, mm. But didn't investors ignore it as well? I mean, we blame often blame the entrepreneurs, and rightly so, because yes. they're, they're their businesses. But didn't investors ignore yes. the fiscal consideration as well? Absolutely. Investors are partners in crime in both directions. So I think uh, there was excessive focus on growth hmm. at any cost. And I think now we are going through a period of growth backed by good gross margin to begin with and growth backed by customer experience. Mm. So I think it's a very good place to be at. Okay, you're saying it's a good place to be at. And, you know, this this uh, takes me to uh, a, a New Year greeting that we got from one of the VCs. And this is what they sent along with that card. And it said, this time it's different, 2008. This time it's different, 2013. And this time it's different, 2016. And I would imagine that this is what investors use as arguments to explain what goes on. So, <laughs> so be, beyond the fact that now people are focusing on unit economics, people are focusing on the bottom line, yes. what really is significantly different? Of course, the size of the market has changed, but what else is really different this time around? I think that is all that we need. We need uh, management, which is very high quality entrepreneurs. What is different this time is that the best are turning entrepreneurs to the market, hmm. which is the point I was making that we have now $2 trillion of GDP. Uh, growing at 7-8%. So at least two industries, uh, which is retail and transportation, have been significantly impacted by the advent of uh, online. And uh, three, the availability of money. Mm. So three M's, management, money and market. And money is coming to India because every other market has plateaued. Let's talk about the kind of money that we've seen come in and the kind of money we can expect to continue to come in. And I've been looking at the data which suggests that between 2006 and now, we've mm -hmm. seen about $15 billion come in across 2,000 startups. If we were to take a look at the exits, about 238 exit deals worth about $4.1 billion have happened since 2007. Do you mm -hmm. believe that the quantum of money is going to continue as strongly as we have seen over the last few years or do you believe that we are now going to see the money ebb as well? Let me talk of few forces that are in play here. One, the fact that we are the only growth economy means that when investors look at multiple 
asset classes to invest in and multiple countries to invest in we show up very well so that's the positive mm. driver the negative driver is that not enough money has been returned which is the point in your statistics yeah. that 15 billion has come in and 4 billion has probably gone back what do you see as far as the exit opportunities now we've also got the new guidelines being put into place by the market regulator mm -hmm. to encourage ipos uh you know do you do you see this really changing the landscape at all in any fashion do you see it changing the needle in in a particular direction i think ipos we will still see happen on the nasdaq mm. for a company that hits a billion dollar plus in market value and is on the path to profitability mm. so do you see the e-commerce listings e-commerce e-commerce listings probably in 3 to 5 years from mm. now but not in india Uh, but on the nasdaq but on the nasdaq and two i think we are beginning to see some appetite for acquisition by uh, global majors mm. i think uh, alibaba taking a minority position in paytm mm. is a good data point mm. uh, and there could be all kinds of folks ten cents baidu so a lot of china uh, because of the fact that china is by and large flat is looking to grow uh, from india because they are public companies is that the big trend that hasn't really been talked about as much i mean we've obsessed about the money coming in from the us and we've obsessed about what we can learn from the valley and so on and so forth has yeah. the china factor largely been ignored china is now beginning to become interesting uh, because of the fact that the demographics are very similar and we do lag china by about 7 to 8 years so there are a lot of learnings that chinese uh, majors can bring to this uh, market mm. us folks have largely been uh, organic in their uh, attempts to be here whether it is ebay or uh, amazon mm -hmm. uh, or uber so they are all organic attempts we could see potentially chinese being more uh, acquisitive On that note, it is time for us to take a break. But when we return, we continue our conversation with Sanjeev Agarwal of Helium. Stay right there. Hero Film Corp presents Young Turks, 14 years.